Hello everybody, this is Dean Phoenix and this will be a super short video, I'm going to try and keep it to a couple of minutes. Um, basically, it's just that we have finished the Just The Story uh, playthrough, where the if you've watched the previous videos, the whole point of this playthrough was showing how quickly you could get a build together, um, starting from Blood and Wine only, so having the expansions, and instead of having to play the whole game, see how quickly you could do it, and get to the point where you could use Euphoria. Uh, and start New Game Plus and dominate that with a Viper build instead of having to build the whole Ursine Grandmaster armor uh, and things like that. So if you watch sort of episode 3 or 4-ish, I think uh, after about 8 hours or so, I had all the basics in place where you could have easily have started and dominated. But I just wanted to finish the DLC, get to a higher level and show some of the other things that you can do. So by the end of the last episode of the playthrough, we were at about 15 hours almost exactly, and that is obviously much, much quicker than playing through the whole game, doing the story and getting all the things in place, and we were very close to having um, the optimised Viper build. Now I did spend a couple of hours, you can see here we're almost 19 hours, so I spent three, three hours or so messing about, doing some extra things, uh, just so I can uh, show some of the things that we were doing in my Preparing for New Game Plus video and uh, some of the stuff that we can watch out for. So the first thing I did was I uh, spent the 15k on the third level, uh, second and third level of the room, right? So 25k in total. And I put Severance, the enchantment, on Arendite uh, by adding the slots. So spending the money to add in three slots, uh, getting the uh, room right to level two and adding severance on Arendite and also getting the hen guided steel sword at as high a level as possible. You see it's my level there, 52. Last thing I've, uh, I've one of the last things I've done um, before severance to both of those swords. So that's very useful. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've got deflection on my armor. I added slots to a uh, slot to the Nilfgaardian Guardian gauntlets, uh, not guardsmen, just the Nilfgaardian DLC gauntlets, which are uh, the really good really good resistances for a medium set of gauntlets. And uh, I have added the Greater Glyphs of Mending, you can see there, um, to all of the five slots that I have here. You can only add one slot to these Nilfgaardian gauntlets, so uh, I may use a different set in New Game Plus, but to be perfectly honest, uh, these Greater Glyphs of Mending are just to provide a little bit of healing um, outside of battle for convenience so you don't have to use food or keep using swallow and meditating and things like that. Now I've stashed a bunch, I've stashed all my glyphs, uh, I've kept runes uh, because I'm needing to put severance on any swords that I use in New Game Plus so again that's just a convenience thing. I haven't made all the decoctions because I'm only going to be using a few of them um, and I've made all the superior oils apart from hybrid oil because I barely use it and uh, there's no point in me going to Skellia just to search out an Arinia eye when I will get one uh, eventually in New Game Plus and um, don't need that. So I've got the Bottomless Carafe from Hearts of Stone and uh, I've also used the Muta Generator um, and um, I had like quite a few charges on that so I'd sorted that out. I could go and get the other 29 charges there, uh, uh, farm a monster nest or something and get those charges, but I'm not that fussed, so uh, no real point doing that. Um, after I'd paid for those um, upgrades for the rune right, I did a couple of rune runs. If you check out my uh, Hans base uh, video, I did a couple of runs through the Hans base, literally just two runs through, and that got me like another uh, 15k, or, uh, about 10k or so, selling those weapons. And then I did all of the things from my video about the tips for selling items late game, and even though I had a lot uh, fewer items, because this playthrough was only starting, I still picked up a few things, emeralds and gems and chitinous shells, all this kind of stuff, wyvern hides that are worth a lot, sold a few of those, and um, as you can see, we've still got uh, enough things to be going on with, um, but I've sold some stuff like Dwarven Spirit, most of my Alkahest, uh, because I have the bottomless carafe, so I won't be needing alcohol, uh, just kept the... Um, a few of the Dwarven Spirit in case I want to make a couple of uh, decoctions because you need them for that. So there are some decoctions, uh, a lot of decoctions I've still not bothered making because I don't want to have my inventory be all filled up and things like that. Um, and so 
it's going to be doing uh, those. Uh, I've got all these superior potions that I want to be using. Um, got a really good saddle, the best saddle bags, and uh, I was using this uh, herbs trophy, but that'll disappear in New Game Plus. And I have sold all the other horse stuff, uh, like the trophies and a lot of the spare food, because we don't need any of that. Sold those all to Hugo and the merchants in Toussaint, who give the best prices for everything. So we'll just quickly go over the build. Um, I did not, uh, even though I spent time going around the, um, uh, even though I spent time going around Tucson clearing out some monster nests and stuff like that, uh, I was because you have uh, so many fewer mutagens from not having played the full game. Um, doing it this way, I was seeing if I could get enough mutagens together to do the um, extra ability glitch, um, and it was very close to be doing. But then I wouldn't have had very many mutagens for getting um, the mutations back. Because after you use that glitch, you have to put the mutations back. So that means using all mutagens again. Um, and it would have just been uh, very close sailing. And instead, I decided I would just go it with the uh, bog standard way uh, of getting a euphoria and then enough of the mutagens. Uh, mutations, sorry. Um, these ones here. Uh, all these mutations. So I've got eight so that we have the third strength and synapses slot. And we'll just um, unlock this fourth one in New Game Plus. So uh, we've got enough of the mutagen, so that obviously uh, mutations, so that we are using Euphoria. Uh, got these ones here. These ones will finish off in New Game Plus, so I've left the most expensive, as it were, um, for mutations, uh, the ones that I would never, never really be using. So um, mutated skin isn't necessary. Uh, neither is Conductors of Magic if you're not using a sign build. Adrenaline Rush is inferior to Euphoria anyway. And Second Life I uh, shouldn't need. And um, so yeah, they've just left those ones and I will use those in New Game Plus, uh, activate those in New Game Plus to get this fourth slot down here. So for the actual build itself, put five points in, it does make a difference with Will. Um, use their Potion of Clearance. And so we have got Muscle Memory, Precise Blows, Will, Strength Training, Crushing blows, one point in rend so that we can use it. We don't need the extra damage from it particularly. It's very good even with one point in it. Just one point in razor focus at the minute uh, because that one point means that you instantly gain the one adrenaline point um, and the rest of the adrenaline will increase by 5%. I'll put the extra points into that in New Game Plus and we'll get those very quickly. Um, put six points into the first level here. Um, so we've got uh, Delusion and we've got Far Reaching Ard. And uh, then we'll have Ard Sweep for use with the Ancient Lesson Decoction, which is one of my favourite combos. And again, the uh, lack of not doesn't matter so much because in New Game Plus that becomes a lot less effective as you reach higher levels anyway. So it's more for the utility. So the two points that will go into that um, will also just be a bonus, a luxury instead of a necessity. And then the core of the build is these uh, general skills. So we've got Griffin School Techniques and Metabolic Control. So that with four pieces of armor that we have are uh, extremely, it's extremely good for the stamina regeneration and that little bit of intensity. Not that that really matters, um, but for the stamina regen, good. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the Metabolic Control for the 30 points of toxicity. And that feeds in with Heightened Tolerance and Acquired Tolerance to give us... Um, 308 toxic will drop a tiny bit in new game plus um, because the quest relating story quest related one will drop off until we complete them again in new game plus but we still have enough should have enough to have 305 toxicity with the two pieces of manticore gear meta control and acquired tolerance and that will give us enough to use four full decoctions which is 280 points of toxicity and should 25 toxicity uh, spare so that with fast metabolism which I've also just got one point in currently um, we'll be able to use the 25 point potions on top which is important because Thunderbolt and Superior Blizzard are amazing a really great um, Thunderbolt against any and Superior Blizzard in any any fights where you have more than one opponent because as soon as you kill one you get the slowdown effect that will go with Killing Spree, which is another thing that we will unlock later after we've finished putting the points in Fast Metabolism. Um, we'll get the Places of Power right at the start. As soon as we get to Velen, we'll be able to collect all of those. We'll have got the six from one And then we will kill again and get all the ones of those. So very soon in New Game Plus, we'll have a ton of points and be able to finish off Fast Metabolism, uh, Rend, and Razor Focus, and Ard Sweep. So we'll finish off those. And then as soon as we uh, level up enough to... Um, 
unlocked the mutation, uh, the rest of the mutations and the fourth strength and synapses slot, we will get killing spree as an added bonus for fighting groups and uh, we'll have that. The other core abilities that we've got are protective coating and synergy. So uh, these three, acquired tolerance, protective coating and synergy are probably the abilities in the game in my opinion. Synergy is boosting these uh, red mutagens here from being uh, their regular amount of which would be plus 40% with three red skills adjacent to being plus 60. And uh, these two that are on their own as being 15% instead of uh, the normal 10% and protective coating is amazing and adds 25% onto our protections with the armor. So just to very quickly go over the build then, uh, we've got the Hengaida sword and the uh, Arendite both with severance. Uh, we've got the Viper chest, Nilfgaardian DLC gauntlets, you can use a ton of different gauntlets there, you could use the Manticore ones if you wanted, you could use the woven ones which look really cool as well. I'm just using these for a little bit of defensive utility, uh, as you can see it has really good uh, resistances to five types of damage there which is brilliant and comp the rest of the build really well. Then we've got the Manticore trousers with critical hit chance, ton, ton of elemental resistance, good damage uh, resistance for slashing and monsters and plus 10 maximum toxicity which is fantastic and then the awesome manticore boots which had 20% critical hit damage which is good um, and then has good piercing slashing and damage monster damage resistance as well as adding that plus 5 toxicity and the viper chest has deflection the best defensive resistances of any medium gear, especially that massive 40% from monsters and elemental damage. And even though our piercing resistance on the build is pretty good, we've got deflection, so that's not even an issue. And as you can also see, it's extremely light, 157, 1.57 weight. So the weight in total at the top left you can see is 27 out of 170. Now this all plays a part because when we use the decoctions that we're wanting to be using, um, the decoctions that we'll usually be going with uh, will be the Ekimara decoction for healing, the Arakas decoction which is where the uh, really light inventory weight comes in. So that's currently adding about 17% um, extra on top of protective coating. The Ancient Lesson Decoction, so that we can add um, the Stamina Regeneration as well uh, when using our Sweep repeatedly, which is brilliant against groups for a bit of crowd control and increasing your Stamina, uh, but also more um, importantly for when you stun single enemies, which is great. Take out a Red Skull enemy, that's useful. Use that a few times at the fight, and we'll demonstrate times in New Game Plus. And then the War Tag Decoction. So you can see here, um, this is Euphoria providing the boost. When you put War Tag Decoction, um, you get the boost from Euphoria and its own 50% damage boost. And uh, that adds a ton. Um, so that's really useful there. We have got the 280 toxicity there, and that's obviously giving a huge boost to our sign intensity with Euphoria, and the damage from the swords and things like that. As you can see there, the critical hit damage is really high, um, and that'll be extremely useful when we get killing spree as well, because we'll be critical hitting versus groups a lot more often. Um, and then we can use any of these superior potions, which is uh, you know really good, um, and we've got all these potions here. So with fast metabolism. Uh, say you were going to use your superior tourney arm like that, even with one point in fast metabolism you can see how quickly it drops at the top um, and then you'll very uh, soon anyway be able to use superior thunderbolt on top of it and um, it'll be even quicker as we get more fast metabolism but even when that drops down to the 210 percent you'll be able to see the uh, enormous damage and utility that we get from this build so that's added a bit of damage there um, so we've got um, all lucky sevens, 7777, seven, seven. Uh, silver sword, critical hit damage on our strong attacks, good damage on the uh, fast attacks as well, so all of that will be good. And then we've got 52% uh, slashing damage, piercing damage doesn't really matter because the uh, arrows are getting deflected anyway, and bludgeoning damage is the only one that's low. Um, the the resistance from monsters and elemental damage are massive and you've got to remember that on top of all of this we have 25% um, from protective coating as long as you're using the correct oil and you have also uh, will have the Aracast decoction uh, adding about 15% or more resistance straight on top of that um, if you keep your inventory weight 42 or below. 
And so if you add the 40% plus uh, onto those resistances, you see that we've got ni over 90% resistance to slashing damage. Piercing damage is extremely high at 80 something, but even that is with deflection, so the arrows won't be hitting us anyway. Um, we've got about uh, 40, 40 something, almost 50% bludgeoning damage resistance, which is still pretty good considering that actually the armor is only providing 7% bludgeoning resistance. Uh, so even bludgeoning attacks wouldn't kill us if they were hitting us. We'd have a bit of time to heal up and everything else. Um, that 40% would take us to maximum monster damage resistance because we'd be hitting the cap of 99%. Because obviously the 63 plus 40 is going to take us to that uh, over 100. So you can't be over 100. You hit the resistance cap at 63. And the elemental damage from the Viper chest armor and the uh, Manticore trousers is so high that even without the Aracastic Coction, elemental damage will always hit the cap as well, just with those two pieces of gear and protective coating uh, with the Nilfgaardian gauntlets. So we're in fantastic shape and uh, this, like I say, this is with um, me taking a bit of extra time uh, to farm some of the herbs and stuff like that, uh, but we're in tremendous shape there. Every time I've been going to Kovo Bianco, I have also been collecting uh, the special herbs from the garden. So you can see uh, here that we've got plenty of Nizeri Basil uh, and we'd be able to keep this in New Game Plus and we've been collecting as much Winter Cherry as possible um, so that I'll be able to convert the more common Greater Blue Mutagens and quite common Greater Greens uh, and convert those early in New Game Plus to be the Greater Reds. And I've done a couple of those already because the Greater Reds are rare. So they have more rarer, so we have more um, than either of the other two colours. And we'll be able to use that to finish off the build. And uh, once we've put the points into rend, razor focus, add sweep, fast metabolism, we'll be able to use the rest of the points we have spare um, to get these other four mutations, even though we're not going to use them, so that we can get the fourth strength and synapses slot. And we've sold a ton of other stuff to Hugo, and uh, we are all ready to go. So that's going to be this uh, very quick little video just uh, going over the build and some of the things and you can see how it's going to have turned out and uh, then we have this you know uh, really high stats great resistances everything else is pretty much perfectly set up and we have that as you can see there 41 stamina regeneration in combat which is also really really high um, and that is all within about 19 hours there uh, and again a lot of the peripheral stuff wasn't 100% necessary you could have got everything in place if you watch the first few episodes of the prepare of the uh, Viper hybrid preparation uh, playlist that this will be in you'll be able to see that you would have been able to do this in roughly eight or ten hours even uh, if you wanted to uh, ignore all the peripheral stuff so uh, please like comment sub for uh, any other YouTube stuff helps me out and I will be starting the death march Viper Hybrid, uh, where I'll be playing at least the first parts of the game just to uh, show off how well the build works and how quickly you can get it finished and uh, using this beautiful looking armor set as well uh, in New Game Plus. So thank you very much and you all have a good day on the path.